Hi, this is Lalit Vasist and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, I will discuss the superposition theorem. Here we will see different uh, applications and uh, limitations of this theorem. But uh, before seeing these uh, applications and limitations, I would like to tell you what is superposition theorem. It's a theory and it's a statement. Okay. So let's start uh, with the statement. But uh, before uh, telling you the formal definition, uh, I would like to tell you uh, what is the superposition theorem in uh, simple words. If I have a network and it contains uh, several sources, these uh, sources may be the current sources or voltage sources, and I wanted to calculate uh, either current or voltage in any branch of that circuit. Then what I can, uh, what can I do? I can calculate the current or voltage in any branch of that circuit by taking only one individual source at a time and making another source inoperative and after that uh, taking them uh, dealing with them individually i can add the responses algebraically to find the combined effect of these uh, uh, several sources uh, to calculate uh, the combined current or voltage in that branch so i think uh, you got the point of superposition and now i will uh, tell you the formal definition of this uh, superposition theorem in an active linear network that contains uh, several sources these sources may be dependent sources also the overall response the response means the branch current or voltage in any branch in the network is equal to the algebraic sum of the responses of each individual source considered separately okay with all the other sources made inoperative it means replacing them with their internal resistances or impedances while uh, uh, inoperating making the sources inoperative we mean that we remove that source and just replace that source with the internal resistance or impedance of that source so i will tell you how to make a source inoperative okay here we will learn it to make a source uh, inoperative it is first short circuited leaving behind its internal resistance or impedance if it is a voltage source in case of a voltage source we just remove that source and we will replace that uh, voltage source with its internal resistance or impedance okay and but if it is a current source then we will remove that uh, source and we will uh, replace it with its internal resistance or impedance but it is written here but if it is a current source then it is open circuited okay leaving behind its internal resistance or impedance in this case it is short circuited and here it is open circuited okay so now let's see the applications of uh, superposition theorem let's start the superposition theorem is applicable for any linear circuit having time varying or time invariant circuits so it means that we can use the superposition theorem for either not only for time invariant uh, circuits but also for time varying circuits okay but the important thing is that the circuit should be linear it should not be nonlinear okay it is also very useful in the analysis of circuits how it can be used as we have seen in the definition of the superposition theorem that we can use the superposition theorem to calculate the current or voltage in any branch of the circuit when we have uh, uh, more than two sources of voltage or uh, more than two voltage or current sources so here it is written that the superposition theorem can be very useful when the circuit has large number of sources the sources may be current or voltage sources to find the value of current or voltage in any branch of the circuit we have discussed it earlier so now it's time to see the limitations there are some limitations of this theorem also so let's see them one by one the first limitation of this uh, superposition theorem is it is not applicable when the circuit contains only dependent sources it means we need we cannot uh, use it when there are only dependent sources 
so we need to have at least uh, one uh, independent source in the circuit okay the second limitation is we can not apply superposition theorem when the circuit contains non-linear elements like diodes and transistors we know that the diodes and transistors are non-linear elements okay so if they are present in the circuit then you should not apply superposition theorem as it is applicable to only completely linear circuits okay the third limitation of this superposition theorem is as we know that superposition theorem is applicable only for linear networks okay we know this now so it cannot be used for power calculations since the power is proportional to the square of the current or voltage and we know that the square makes it non-linear so you cannot use it to calculate power in the circuits okay so superposition theorem is only applicable for linear circuits and for linear calculations okay we should not use it to calculate power the fourth limitation of this theorem is the superposition theorem is of no use if the circuit contains less than two independent sources as we know that we use the superposition theorem when uh, we have more than two sources uh, uh, two sources in the circuit then we use only one source at a time and uh, then add the algebraic effect algebraic uh, effect of the uh, independent source to get the net result but if the circuit already contains uh, less than um, two sources independent sources then how can we use it how how it would be useful so it's of no use in that case so this was all about the superposition theorem its uh, applications and limitations of this theorem so in the next video we will see uh, uh, some other network theorems like uh, milliman's theorem kcl kvl maximum power transfer theorem and so on so friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye